if you're feeling lost, let's talk about it because this algorithm did not find you for no reason. Three things you need to understand here. Number one, you're feeling lost because you don't know what you want. You are saying you do, but you actually don't know. I just had a conversation with a young man from somewhere and he was laying down a business he wants to start. And when I asked him, do you know what it entails to do that business? In that, you know you need a place, you need to market that business. How much do people charge for that business? How much do you charge per client? Where can you set it up? Why do you, do you set it up that place, not this other place? Do you have that answer to that thing that you want? No. If you're not able to clearly define a thing that you want, it's because you're not thinking in the lines of this is what I actually want, but I am messing up my entire being by doing this thing like betting, masturbating, going out to drink, taking smokes, doing the most useless thing, knowing very well all these things are useless to you because you need to be focusing on something that you know for sure. When I do this, you even say it, when I do this, ah, I live an amazing life. Me, you will know me. But you're not doing it. You're still doing these things. Number two, when we are coming to something here, that person you know, you're with, that place you frequent, that lifestyle you're leading, that you know for sure, for sure, this is bad for me. The only way to end it fully is to leave. And when I say leave, I mean completely. You have to move. Some of our, some people who have moved from, say, one location to the next, like moving from your house to a totally different town, or moving from this town to, say, a different country, everything they used to think they were addicted to stops. Because you have changed location, you have changed friends, you have changed the place you used to frequent, now you are able to clearly see something that you are doing wrong. Number three, stop consuming and I'll say this so many times until it hammers down, down, down that mind. Stop consuming useless content that you know or you don't even realize it's actually messing up with you. You're in your 20s. They constantly keep telling you when you're dating men, men are a certain type of way that you don't need men. When you're men, you're being constantly being told you don't need a woman, you don't need to all this, you need to do this, do that. You fail to realize that, for the ladies here, you will get to a certain point, all these ideologies you have, you will want someone. Look for the older ones, they will tell you. Men, you need to realize, you're in your 20s. Pick one thing, one business, and just go in full throttle. Just do it. Do it. Figure out, ask questions. If, if you're going to use AI, use AI to ask the question. Chat GPT is free. You ask it, I want to start this and this business in this and this economy, in this and this country. I have this and this so far and, and I, I have done research on this. I know this so far. What do I need to do to me from, to, to start this business and then to market it within three ninety days to move it from this point to that point and then this point to that point? Then start asking, how do I market this business for me to get clients? Start start questioning this thing step by step by step by step by step and see how easy it's going to be for you to wake up and actually go do things. Will life be easier for you? Heck no. But at least you'll be waking up to something that you're doing as compared to now that you wake up and sometimes you have no clue what you're doing, you're just meandering. The wind comes, it flows with you. It comes this way, let's go that way. Your friends call you, you just say, hey, I'm away, let's go. You, you, you're told, hey, tomorrow we are going to, to do this place. You just go. People just call you and they ask you for assistance. You just run. When you are busy, you start realizing how less 
time you have 24 hours for you be sleeping for three hours and you're like oh you slept too much sleep for four hours you're like oh you slept too much and then when you start doing those businesses when you start doing actually making moves now you start desiring to sleep which you still can't you start desiring to move from this place to another place to another country and when you start doing it you find now you've started delegating this part so that you need another person to delegate for that person so you start moving you start making moves but if you stay there things are not going to change that place you are in right now things are not going to change if you stay there and not actually do things step by step